is finally a sunny day, not raining. So how about we skip yoga and go out for a walk? So up here, looking good, earrings, makeup, perfect for filming. But underneath, ta-da, I'm in my sweatpants. So this is literally the outfit for all the Zoom meetings. Like, if your teacher or your boss asks you to stand up, please don't. Okay, so I just finished filming and I was exhausted. And now I got some time for myself, so I'm going to do my nails. So this is my nails now. Like, it is terrible. So I am going to change that. Okay, so as usual, I am doing yoga and then look. Oh my god. <laughs> Excuse me, sir or madam. Um, this is not your house, but thank you so much for coming. Oh, hi, cutie! Hey, <laughs> Later, I am going to a Pilates class. So, I've always wanted to try new stuff, not just yoga every time. So, hi, avocado! <laughs> So I want to give you guys a little review on flying yoga and Pilates. So flying yoga is also called aerial yoga. I think it is really similar to the yoga that I've been practicing. So some of the posts are just yoga posts, but you are doing it up in the air. So it is quite fun because I've been doing yoga a lot on the floor. So I think it's a whole new experience to explore yoga. So if you want to learn yoga, but you want to learn it in a fun way, try flying yoga. It doesn't matter if you are a beginner, if you are an expert, you can definitely go try the flying yoga. But for me, I think I won't go back that much because it's basically yoga that I've been practicing. But for Pilates, I would definitely go back because I think yoga is more about stretching, it's more about uh, testing your flexibility and improving your mental health, which is great. But Pilates is more about muscles. So it is more about building muscles with some yoga pose. So I quite like that. And Pilates burns a lot. like. It is hotter than it looks. Well, I did consider to take a Pilates instructor class in the future, but it's just not now. I think I still have a lot of things to learn in yoga, so I want to master it first. And there aren't much of Pilates studio that provides a teacher training program, so we'll see. But compared to flying yoga, I will definitely go with the Pilates.
so I am filming my videos and let her see. Hello. Welcome back to my kitchen. So I found this ginger shot recipe online and I've always wanted to try some ginger shot because I know it's really healthy. It's really good for your general health, for improving your metabolism, for improving your digestive system. But the thing is, I've never had the courage to try it because I know it's gonna burn. But today, let's be a little adventurous today. Let's make some ginger shots. Then I'm just gonna throw in some coconut water. It's gonna burn. Okay, so the recipe use lemon, but I don't have lemon, I just have lime, so I think that will work. And the recipe also put in some cayenne pepper, but I don't have it, and I actually don't like the taste, so I'm just gonna put in some honey. Every time when I find a new recipe and I want to try it, I just don't follow the recipe. Like, it sounds ridiculous. I mean, they are really good inspiration, but I'm just not those person who follow the rules. <laughs> hey, don't get me wrong, but it looks like poop. It looks really ugly when I squeeze it, honey. It's gonna taste good, trust me. <laughs> okay. Okay, enough poop. It's here, guys. Let's do it. <coughs> I feel like there's a fire in here. Okay. That's better. Well, it does burn, but it actually tastes not bad. It tastes like lemonade, but with a lot of ginger. Ooh. 